Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Welcome to a video that's kind of like the original videos that I used to make on my channel where I would just go out, do a bunch of fun stuff, film it on my iPhone, and then talk about it a little bit later. I'm bringing that format back. I'm really excited about it. It was how I fell in love with making these videos, and I want to bring some of those back just to kind of fill in videos between the bigger productions like the video you just saw of me making pictures at home. How sweet is that? Yeah, this one, it starts with a foggy morning of black and white photography and then some other cool stuff. The black and white is to follow up on that first New Year's challenge video where I went out to the desert and shot black and white photos. I decided to do it again on a nice foggy morning. This has never happened before, but this morning I wake up because of um, Allison. She gets up really early for work, but she comes to wake me up because she's like, Willem, the light's really cool. I think you would like to see it. Sure enough, it's like the craziest fog I've ever seen in Los Angeles. I mean, I've only been here nine months, so that really doesn't mean shit, but I'm gonna shoot it, see what happens. Waiting for my car to warm up because all the windows are... Well, actually, it's just water. All right. I only had two frames of portrait left that was already in the camera, um, but I'm gonna go to some HP5. More black and white because I think it would look good. Now that I think about it and now that I'm thinking about sort of black and white tonalities instead of color. Yeah, it might work. So let's give it a shot, HP5. Unfortunately, this roll is actually expired. That just goes to show how long I haven't shot black and white for, but I think it'll be fine. It was in my fridge the whole time and should be good. Here it is, HP5, Matt Day, I hope you're proud of me. Got a coyote, wow. Another one. What the f Ages ago, I found this really scary abandoned Rolls Royce that's just sitting outside of an abandoned house here. And I've always wanted to take a picture, but I never found the right light. And I think this is it, so. I'm gonna try that now. It is right there. So spooky. over to shoot this cactus because I feel like seeing a cactus in fog is a weird combination. I'm almost done with a whole roll of HP5. Did not think I'd be saying that a couple weeks ago.
next thing that was very overdue on my list of things to do is to reorganize my negative and darkroom print archive in my studio. I used to use these boxes that were made by print file and they cost about $18 a piece. I used one for every project. It doesn't work when you have to pay $18 every time you have a new idea for a project. So I decided to go with some cheaper Uline mailing boxes. They're literally meant for shipping things. And I decided to organize my negatives and prints with that system. Folded. Now it's time to actually just transfer the old stuff into the new boxes. done look at that that's so satisfying i mean this is not all of my work this is just all of the work that i've made darkroom prints of so far if we come over here this is where the big old negative drawer sits with just way more projects that's for another day oh god this is bad That is so good. Now I just gotta deal with this new mess. Finally, I wanna make it a point on these vlogs to share some new work that I'm making. I wanna do this because in a lot of the videos that I make, I'm making photos that I'm not necessarily happy with, like in the 180 millimeter lens video for the RZ. Those kinds of photos are to test out a piece of gear. So on these vlogs, I wanna share the work that I care about and that means something to me. And these photos that I shot recently for the LA Times are definitely a great example of that. They asked me to go out to the desert landscape outside of LA and make pictures for two days. And that was the assignment, super open, super fun. And I came back with a lot of pictures that I was really happy with. of these were also shot on the 180 millimeter RZ lens, which was really fun to play with in the desert, just focusing in on some nice textures and playing around with that longer focal length. Huge thank you to Kate and Jacob from the LA Times for this opportunity. That's going to be it for this first sort of vlog again. And finally, I want to say thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for over three years at this point, and they've made it so incredibly easy to get a website up and running with my photography. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14-day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you next week with another video. Peace. Whoa.